It's another Monday here with Teacher Jenny. Join me for another topic. This time we're going to talk about the slope of the tangent line to the curve. Okay, defining now our uh, different terms that we wanted to have in our uh, topic here, we have our slope, our tangent line, our second line. So, but before that one, let me just draw a curve here as our graph. Let's say this one will be our graph. Okay. So, this might be our graph. So, this ref refers to our f for the function. You can name that as our f or you can name that one as our g. So, if we have here our point P, basically our X value there is what we call us. So let's try to name that one as our A. Now, if somewhere on the curve, we have another point, let's say here, this is going to be named as our Q. And then the corresponding X value for that one is going to be from A here, we're adding the change of X because we're changing the X here. So this will be our A plus the change of X. And then our corresponding Y value for point P here, we can name that one as our F of A. Take note, our F of X, that's similar to our Y. So this one here, the Y value of that P there is our F of A. And your Q there, the corresponding Y value of Q, point Q, is going to be named as F of A plus delta X. So again, delta X is a change of X. Now, we will now be deriving our um, equation for the slope of the tangent line using the equation of the slope of the second line. So what is a second line? A second line is a line passing through uh, the graph in which that connects only or that, that will be connecting two points on the graph. So let's say here our P and Q, we can come up with a second line there simply by drawing or connecting a line to point P and also for point Q. This will be what we have as our second line. Now, based on the second line, we can come up with the slope of that. We have slope of the second line. We pattern that one with the slope of a general line or a, a normal line, which is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So our slope of the second line here will be equivalent to y sub 2. We can name it either this one or that one. But let's try to name it this one here. So our y sub 2 on the second line is going to be our f of a plus delta x minus our y sub 1, which is this one here. That is f of a over our x sub 2, which is this one here, which is a plus delta x minus our x of 1, which is an a. So this one here will be canceled because that is a 0. So simplifying this, our uh, slope of the second line is equivalent to f of a plus delta x minus f of a over delta x. So this is our slope of the second line. Now, if we are going to consider that the fixed, the point P there is a fixed point, meaning it doesn't move. And then we let our point Q move closer to our P. So the moving closer of the point Q to point P is somewhat going to be applying a limit in there. So that is why if we wanted to move point Q towards point P, this is somewhat like approximating our slope of a tangent line. So when we say Tangent line, this is a line that passes through exactly one point on the, the curve or the graph. So let's say here, this one here is a tangent line because it only passes through.
through this point here, which is point P. So, finding the slope for point P, we are going to apply now the limit because, again, your slope of the tangent of the point P there or the tangent line, the slope of the tangent line is going to be approximated by simply moving our Q closer to our P in which we are applying our limit. So out from here, we've got our slope now as a limit of the slope of the second line, which is F of A plus delta X minus F of A over delta x as your delta x approaches zero so this is now our definition number 2.1.1 in which once you are going to look for the slope of the tangent line of a particular curve that means to say that you are going to make use of this equation so let us try to have our Let's have our first example. So consider the function y equal to f of x equal to x cubed plus 1. Determine a general equation of the tangent line to the graph of f at the point P12. Now when we say general equation of the tangent line or the general equation of the line, we have this format a times x plus by plus c that's equal to 0. Now, if we wanted to come up with this, since we are given there a point, so what we can think of is our point slope equation of a line in which we have there y minus y sub 1. equal to m times our x minus x sub 1. So this is our point slope form. Now, to get this one or to come up with this, we wanted to have our different values, the y sub 1, in which our point here, we are now given with a y sub 1 already, in which this one here. And then we have our x sub 1 as our 1. And then we need our slope, but we don't have the slope. We don't know the slope in there. Now, what we are going to do is to find the slope. So how do we find a slope? Finding the slope is simply using our definition 2.1.1, in which our slope will be equal to the limit of our f of a plus delta x minus f of a over the delta x as delta x approaches zero. So what will be our a? Because our delta x, if we try to look at that, that is approaching to zero. So most likely the delta x will be replaced by zero there. But what is our a? Our A, take note on the previous discussion, our A there is the point on P in which that point is a point where our tangent line touches the graph or the curve. So our A here is equal to 1. So that's our A. Now, let's go over to finding or naming first our F of A plus delta X. So since we have f of x here equal to x cubed plus 1, once we say f of a plus delta x, our a we know that already as 1, so f of 1 plus delta x, we are simply replacing our x here in the function by 1 plus delta x. So since we have x cubed here, so x here will be replaced with 1 plus delta x, and then we raise that to the power of 3 copying plus 1. So that will be our f of 1 plus delta x. Now, next one, we are going to look for our f of a. Our f of a there is f of 1. Since a is 1, our f of 1 will be replacing also the x here on the function. So since we have x cubed, that will be 1 cubed plus 
1. We copy plus 1. This will be 1 cube. That's 1. 1 plus 1, that's 2. So f of 1 is 2. Now, since we've got 1 on x here on the point, and then your, your y there is 2, so automatically, once you look for f of 1, that's equal to 2. You don't need to undergo this one. Now, going over to the slope, the slope here is the limit of the f of a plus delta x. Take note, a is 1. And then a of f of 1 plus delta x, that's equivalent to 1 plus delta x raised to the power of 3 plus 1. So we're just replacing that one here. Minus f of a or f of 1, which is our 2. And then over the delta x. As your delta x approaches 0. So right after that one, we, we go and simplify. We can simplify 1 minus 2 here. So our slope here will be the limit of 1 plus delta x cubed 1 minus 2. That's a negative 1 over delta x as your delta x approaches 0. So your 1 plus delta x there raised to the power of 3 we can try to expand that one. You can do uh, expand it in a way that you can do the, the multiplication of 1 plus delta x times 1 plus delta x times 1 plus delta x. And then you do the long method for that one. Or you can do the special product of 1 plus delta x cubed. So this is now m or the slope is equal to the limit of expanding that one. We just have to do cube the first term. That will be 1 cube. And then we have plus 3. We square the first term. That's 1 squared. And then multiply by the second term. That is delta x. This is how we expand that one using the special product. And then plus 3. The plus 3 there are constant. So plus 3 and then this time we will just be copying the first term. We're squaring the second term. So delta x will be squared. And then we have uh, cubing our second term. That will be delta x cubed. And then we have minus 1 over our delta x. As delta x approaches a 0. Now, we will not stop unless we can cancel something in there. So that is why we try to simplify this one farther. So m is equal to why we don't stop until we can cancel something in there. Because if you try to look at this and wanted to replace delta x with 0, this will be giving us a 0 over 0, So which is indeterminate. So that is why we're manipulating. So the limit here of your 1 cube is 1. So we have 1, and then we have 3 times 1 squared. That's 3 times 1. That's 3. So we have plus 3 delta x. Let me just have it like that. And then plus 3 times 1 is 3. And then we have delta x squared. And then plus delta x cubed. And then we have minus 1. So let me just put the delta x inside so that it will be a lot neater. And then we have the delta x at the bottom part. And then delta x approaches 0. So we can now simplify. This one will be canceled out. So what we are left here is the limit of 3 delta x. And then plus 3 delta x squared plus delta x cubed. What is common here is delta x. So we take out delta x. So taking out delta x, because this one here and that one is gone already. So we've got delta x um, out, 3 times delta x divided by delta x. That will be 3 left here. And then plus 3 delta x squared divided by delta x. So we are now with a plus 3, and then we are left with delta x here. Because 
1 delta x is out, so 2 minus 1, that will be with a 1 delta x left here inside. And then plus delta x cubed divided by delta x. So we have 3 minus 1 on the exponent, so we've got delta x squared, which is left. Over delta x, as delta x approaches 0. So delta x here will be canceled out. So we are now left with the limits of 3 plus 3 times delta x plus delta x squared as delta x approaches a 0. So this time we are now going to simplify this by simply substitute substituting our delta x equal to zero so let me just have this one at the top so let me erase this one those that we don't need okay so the the slope now here is equivalent to three plus this is now substitution three times zero on delta x plus delta x squared that's a zero squared so m or the slope here is now equal to three so this is our slope for our tangent line now next one we are going to use our point slope form because we have now our slope so let me just get rid of those that we don't need so continuing the process here we have now y minus y sub 1 equal to m times x minus x sub 1. So we have now the y sub 1, we have the x sub 1, we have already the slope. So writing that, we have y minus y sub 1 is our 2 equal to our slope is 3 times x minus x sub 1, which is 1. So we wanted to come up with a general equation. So all we have to do is to simply distribute your 3 inside. So we have y minus 2 equal to 3x and 3 times negative 1, that's minus 3. Notice on the general equation, everything is transferred to the left side. So we are left with a 0 at the right side. So we move 3x minus 3 to the other side. So making sure that our x will be the first one so transferring 3x to the other side this will be a um, negative 3x now followed by the y so we have a plus y and then we have a minus 2 we move minus 3 to the other side so that's a plus 3 on the side here and this will be equal to 0 so next one we are going to simplify so we have negative 3x plus y negative 2 plus 3 that's a 1 equal to zero this one we have a negative on the x here so we wish to make it a positive by simply multiplying everything here by negative one so this will be now 3x plus i mean minus y because we're multiplying a negative one there so 3x minus y minus one that will be equal to a zero this is now the general equation of the line tangent to the curve so I hope that you learned something on this one. So please practice on this one so that you will be getting that one eventually.